video in today's video i will show you how to do document scanning in a flutter application for android i have already done it for ios using the vision framework of ios for document scanning so if you are curious for ios you can watch that video this is only for android so i will show you quickly show you the output i have one button okay i am not able to drag it so this is uh, uh, my device running flutter app and this is this is the document which i will scan i will click on the scan button quickly i will try to scan this uh, pdf uh, if you see there is a function for auto capture as well so if you, the scanning is complete uh, then it will auto capture it if you want you can press the camera button as well if you are uh, satisfied with the uh, capture and if you want you can keep it manual as well uh, also if you see over here you can scan multiple pages if you want to but i will keep it simple now once i click on done i get an image uri if you want you can get the output in form of pdf uri as well but here i will show you how to get it in form of image uri i will show but later on i will show you the code for pdf uri as well so if i click on done i get the image uri and i display it inside an image view so yeah that's it for the output let's see how to do this so firstly i have created a flutter application uh, next i have created this main door so inside main dot dart file i have refactored my home page widget so first i have taken this document scanner channel so this is a method channel which will call a native code for us so here you can see that i have taken a text button i have also created one variable which will hold the image url once we uh, successfully scan the document and i have also created another uh, native uh, which, uh, native ui component called my image view because if you try to use this flutter view it really it doesn't work if you have the image uri and you try to use this file thing it doesn't work that's why i had to create a my own native image view as well so if you see the text button it just calls the document scanner dot invoke method scan so we have to write this scan method on the native side and once we get some da uh, data a result we are just assigning it to our data variable and if data is equal to empty then i am just displaying a size box if not then i am displaying our image view okay and next i have created this my image view dot dart file as well here i have a, uh, assigned this identifier to it it is a stateful widget and here it takes a string it takes a text sorry and uh, once we get the text we again send that text back to the native android side and i have added this unique key thing because every time we get a new uh, text or a uri uh, then we want to update this widget that's why this code uh, does that and here you can see this is boilerplate code for displaying an android view or a ui kit view ios won't work for ios you will have to watch my other video of using vision framework so this is only for android view okay next this is done you will have to open an android folder inside android studio firstly uh, you will have to go to build.gradle here you will have to add uh, this dependency uh, of document scanning at the time of recording it is still in beta 1 but in if you are watching this video in future uh, you should uh, see what the current version is and uh, like i'm pretty confident the api won't change it looks pretty stable to me i have also added this coil dependency because i want to display uh, uh, image using uri inside an image view and we also require this activity ktx and fragment ktx because we want to use register for activity result also i had to update the target hdk version to 34 main hdk version you can keep it as 21 but i have kept it as 23 compile hdk version also 34 and uh, also inside build.gradle of android i have updated the kotlin version to 1.9.0 next uh, if you go over here so first uh, i have created a factory class for our image view so again this is very boilerplate code which you have to write whenever you are trying to create an uh, ui native ui view and which reference our my image view so here again i have created this my image view uh, 
and from this my image view we are just uh, on the init method we are just initializing it and whatever text we get from the uh, dart side we are just calling this load method of coil which will help us to display the image from an uri inside our image view once that is done you go to your main activity here firstly i have created our method channel result then we have to create this options so currently i have set the gallery import allowed to false but if you want you can keep it as true here you can define the page limit now the result format are of two types jpeg and pdf if you only want jpeg you can remove pdf and vice versa and here i have set the scanner mode to full and i have called build then i have uh, created our scanner using gms document scanning dot get client and once you call this scanner uh, the result so i'll come back to this so here i am calling configure flutter engine also make sure you are using flutter fragment activity because we want to use register for activities so here we are registering our image view i am using same identifier which i have used out, uh, used it on the dart side and here inside method channel i am just calling document scanner platform again same method channel and same method i am using so here you can see we are calling scanner dot get start intent and on success listener i am calling this scanner launcher dot launch so once you call this launch method the callbacks come over here and in case of failure i am just displaying a toast message so once the callback comes over here uh, uh, we uh, get this uh, if the result is okay then we are calling this uh, we are getting this document result from uh, from activity result intent and if you want the image output to be an image you will use something like this so if you have multiple pages for your output you can just loop over it currently i have using the first page output only but if you want multiple pages you can send uh, those data using uh, event sync or your uh, event stream build event stream uh, like i think i don't think method uh, ch uh, channel result would work if you want to use method channel and want to send uh, multiple results then uh, you will have to send all this uri in one single go okay so this yeah that's it uh, for uh, uh, output uh, in um, image format if you want it in pdf so you can just comment this out you can uncomment this and here you can see you get the output in pdf here what i am trying to do is i am just once i get the pdf uri i am creating a pdf out of it and i'm immediately opening a share sheet uh, to share it with other apps but if you don't want to do that you want to share it uh, you want to display it within your own app once you you can comment uh, this code out okay and once you get the pdf uri you can watch my other video of how to display pdf using pdf renderer in flutter all right but uh, if you want to share it with uh, using share sheet the other thing apart from this uh, what you will have to do is you will also have to go to uh, res folder inside that create a folder called xml inside that create a file called files underscore part dot xml and i have just copy pasted everything from the documentation uh, okay so once this is done also you will have to go to android manifest dot xml and here you will have to add this provider tag again this is only for pdf if you want to share using it share sheet with other apps for image you can completely ignore this so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye see you in the next one